Hey there followers, Jupiter Joe here with Jupiter Joe Sidewalk Astronomy. I wanted to take a moment out of my day to give you guys a quick review of a new application that I'm using for astronomy outreach. As many of you guys know, I do tons of outreach. I bring telescopes all over the Tri-State area. Whenever we come out to, with the telescopes, one of the biggest, most beautiful items that we're always looking at is the moon. Now, we all love to look at the moon. People love observing the moon through a telescope. They have tons of questions and they start asking questions like, what are the names of the craters? How big is that crater? Um, did we really land on the moon? Can we see footprints? Can we see the flag? Where are the alien bases? Can we see the far side of the moon where the alien bases are? Questions like that. Some of them I have uh, answers to, some of them I don't. And for those questions that I don't have answers to, I usually refer people back to different resources, whether it's going to NASA or going to other websites that can help them out. Well, one of the tools that I'm using now is from a company called Astro Reality. Now you might know the name Astro Reality. They're the company that produces 3D printed spheres of the planets. Now those spheres don't just act as spheres. They have an augmented reality component to them, meaning they can use your, you, know, you can use your cell phone and you can scan them and they give you further information and allow you to interact with them in a digital way. So the company Astro Reality actually produces a application called Astro Reality and inside of that application, they have two components that are free. One of them is called Lunar AR uh, Poster, and the other one is called the Cassini Huygens AR Poster. Now, those posters, what they allow you to do is they allow you to scan it with this application and put you into a 3D augmented reality environment that you can interact with the, uh, in this case, we're going to be talking about the moon. So you'll be interacting with the moon in a 3D way. Um, just right in front of your face. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to introduce you guys to the application and give you guys a quick overview just to get you excited so that you can download it yourself, install it, and print out the AR marker that they utilize, and you can start doing this on your own, especially if you're doing outreach with uh, different people. Um, this is a great tool for you to have. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch the application. It's right there on the left-hand side. You'll see it says Astro Reality. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this screen for a moment. And let's launch Astro Reality. Now, once the application loads, you'll see whatever uh, components are installed. So the first time you install it, you'll just have the Lunar AR poster and the Cassini Huygens AR poster. The Lunar Notebook that you see there is just a paid application. It's actually a physical book that you can uh, use this application to scan. And it also uh, puts you into a 3D uh, augmented reality environment. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to launch the Lunar AR poster. When you print it out, it looks a lot like this. Um, you'll see that page coming out of your printer. Now you'll realize that that page has a logo on top and some information on the bottom about the moon. That information does not have to be visible when you scan it. So if you were just to cut out the moon, as I have, um, and use that moon image, that's actually what prompts the AR image to appear. So we're going to go ahead and click on Go, and you'll see it now. This is my outreach telescope. And if you guys look straight down there at the bottom, right below the scan screen, that's my tripod banner where I've actually uh, put the AR marker uh, on there. So that way people can you know, install the application on their phones, and they can go ahead and scan it. Uh, while I'm actually on the telescope showing people or answering other questions. And this is great because it allows people to interact with it uh, on their own. So if they come down here, scan the image, there it goes. So it immediately pops up. You now see a 3D augmented reality uh, sphere that you can actually interact with. Now I could move into it to make it bigger or if I just come back here and scan, scale it, you can then scale it. Beautiful thing is you can, you can then interact with it, you move it around. You see there, pretty cool stuff, right? So as you see, there's a lot of information that's popping up. You're seeing Apollo landing sites, you're seeing names of Madia, you're seeing lots of information. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna choose one of these objects to click on. And in this case, let's scroll this down. Uh, in fact, on the far side of the moon, you see that there, the U-2 rover? That's, a, that's the near one. Then there's the U-2-2 rover, which is actually on the far side of the moon right now. So you could actually move these around and see 
the far side of the moon as well. So it's pretty cool stuff. Now, in our case, one of the objects that we're going to look at, because it's the anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission, there goes Apollo 11. We're going to scroll that down a little. Sorry for the jumping around, guys. Oops. So the reason it bounces around like that, I have direct sunlight hitting the, uh, the image. So you really won't have that at night when you're doing this with people. But when you have direct sunlight hitting it, it does get a little jumpy because there's reflections coming off the uh, laminating, uh, laminated cover that I put on there. So if you're just putting it on a piece of paper, it'll be fine. In my case, I needed to laminate it. <laughs> so we are going to pull that up. And when you click on the Apollo 11 uh, site, you'll see it shows the Apollo lo uh, patch logo. You can then click on different images and scroll around. Now, the beauty of this is that we can also do this with craters as well. Oops, let's back out of there. So we're going to find different objects. Let's choose ourselves a crater that everyone gets a chance to see. Let's scroll this a little bit. There she goes. One of my favorite craters called Tycho. And there you see Tycho Crater. Now the beauty of this application is you can then, aside from looking at all the images, you can also scroll up and you get a lot of information of the either the craters or whatever objects that you're clicking on. They all have uh, added information that you can start learning about those objects on your own. So again, this is a beautiful application. Now, when you're in the zoomed mode uh, or when you're in the focused mode where you've actually clicked on something, you can't alter it. Um, you can't zoom in and out. So in order to do that, it's better if you zoom out first and then uh, click on the object that you want to see. But yeah, so right now we have the moon upside down here because we're looking at Clavius on the top and it's really in the southern hemisphere. But that's the beauty of this. You can scroll this around. You can then put it back into the southern hemisphere. You can then rotate and get things back in a position that we're used to seeing it in. Um, so yeah, this really helps a lot when people are looking at their uh, at, at the image for the first time, let's say they look through the telescope and they realize like, oh, that was a really cool crater. How do I learn more about it? Um, now they can do it right there instead of having to go home and then look it up on a computer or something like that. Or if I can't explain it to 50 people online, you know, I can't really dedicate it to just one person. So a lot of times I have to kind of give an overview of information. This lets them get uh, a little bit more information. Now, one of the things that I wish uh, Asha Reality actually did was for uh, some of the craters that we see here, um, I wish they gave some more information. So like if you go to Copernicus, for instance, and we swipe up, it does give us some background information, but what it doesn't give us is information like how wide is the crater, how deep is the crater, or how old is the crater, or estimated age of the crater. Um, some of those things would be really nice to have, but starting people off with this information is really beneficial, and it would definitely get them more involved in doing their own brands of astronomy, um, whether they're doing it from home or if they're actually out on the field, and they need a reference point to look for a crater that they're looking at, this is a great tool for them to use. So once again, the application is called Astro Reality. Um, you can find it in the uh, App Store or in Google Play. Uh, so just type in Astro Reality, install the application, print out the markers, and start enjoying yourself with those markers. Um, I hope that you guys are able to use this for outreach if you are doing outreach. And if you are, definitely send me a message. Let me know how you like the application, how it's working for you, and definitely send a message to Astro Reality. I'm sure they'd like to hear about it. Take care.